Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So late on Friday, Microsoft rolled out a new update for the Photos app to Windows Insiders on Windows 11 across all Insider channels, and then also to Windows Insiders on Windows 10 in the beta and release preview channel. So just a quick video to go through some of these new features and improvements. Now, the first two features are rolling out only to Windows 10 and are already available in the Photos app over on Windows 11 in the stable version. So Microsoft going to be rolling out a couple of Windows 11 Photos app features now to Windows 10. Now, the first one um, is that Microsoft is bringing the ability to sync and view iCloud photos to users on Windows 10. And how this will all work is basically you'll be able to access your iCloud photos by going to the iCloud Photos Pivot, obviously here in the Photos app, and then clicking on this um, little toggle where you'll be able to install the latest iCloud for Windows app from the Microsoft Store, and then you will be able to sign in with your Apple ID and choose to sync your iCloud photos, and then obviously you'll see all your iCloud photos starting to appear in the actual Photos app. So that's the first of two features from Windows 11 Photos app making its way into Windows 10 shortly. And then the next one, I'm just going to mention because I actually posted a whole video on this, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen. And that was back in April of this year. And Microsoft updated the Photos app on Windows 11 to use the new Windows app SDK platform. So Windows app SDK and WinUR 13 are also coming to Windows 10's Photos app. But go check that video out if you would like some more information. So that's dealing now with Windows 10. And now moving over to Windows 11. And the first is they've updated the navigation panel uh, in the gallery, they say, to improve finding your local and cloud content. So basically what Microsoft has done yet with this image, just to give us a general idea, the first of three changes to the gallery navigation update is that the gallery option at the top will now let you access all your photo content in one place, uh, regardless of where they come from. So that will be your PC, iCloud, or OneDrive. So that's all now going to be here uh, in the gallery um, option. And then the next navigation update is to view photos sync from your cloud providers. Click on the OneDrive personal OneDrive Business or iCloud Photos options. And then the third update to the navigation um, gallery navigation is uh, in this uh, PC section at the bottom. Microsoft says you'll find all the folders and content from your computer that have been added to the Photos app. And to include more photos and videos in this view, click on the Add folder icon next to Gallery, which is not available currently in the stable version. So a cup couple of gallery navigation updates, three of those rolling out for Windows 11 insiders. And then the next one is image search with Bing, where Microsoft says you can now search your images online with the new visual search with Bing feature. So yeah, you'll see at the bottom, you click on the visual search Bing icon located at the bottom of the image, and it's also going to be available through the right click drop down menu. And then what this will do is then obviously it'll open up um, the search results in Bing, including similar images, related products, and other related content. So Microsoft integrating Bing now into the Photos app, which I can see would be met with a bit of debate in certain circles, obviously, which is to be expected. And then I'm just going to mention some other improvements that are rolling out to the Photos app. And the first I actually posted on once again, and I'll leave that video linked down below in the end screen, where they are now adding an option to run the Photos app in the background with minimal processes to improve the app startup speed. Now, when I posted the video on this, which as mentioned, you can go check out. Um, I did mention though that it could uh, impede your system performance when Photos is running automatically in the background every time you start up your um, Windows PC, but thankfully, Microsoft says that if you do not want photos running in the background, you can turn off the performance option under settings. So there is going to be a toggle for that, which is good news. And then the last one to uh, mention is that you can now also edit an image in File Explorer 
or on the desktop by right clicking on the image and selecting the edit in photos which is not available as yet in the stable and this will open the photo editor where you can crop rotate or mark up the image as well as applying adjustments and AI powered edits so basically that would be your right click context menu in file explorer where you'll see that edit in photos and Microsoft says to get um, these new features uh, in the insider program you need to update to version 2024.11080.3001.0 or higher and uh, um, this update is on a controlled rollout in the insider program so it may not be available right now and obviously we can expect a lot of these features mentioned in this video today to start rolling out shortly to the stable version and that would also be those first two I mentioned for Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.